Metabolic damage is something that I think a lot of patients don't necessarily know about when they are beginning a weight loss journey. One population that I absolutely love working with is perimenopausal or postmenopausal women. And the reason I love working with this population is because there are a number of risk factors for metabolic slowing that occur. We know that starting at age 35, all humans start to lose a little bit of muscle mass just due to aging. We know that the average age of menopause for a woman in the United States is age 51. And we know that the hormonal changes associated with menopause begin seven to 10 years before that in some women. So you can imagine starting at age 35, if you're losing muscle mass and then fast forward, you know, six to seven years later, you're beginning yet another hormone change that could cause loss of muscle mass. We know that that muscle mass change, with muscle mass really being the foundation of your metabolism in your body, you can have metabolic slowing. What we know too is whenever anyone loses a significant amount of weight, if they're doing that through caloric restriction without enough resistance training and a focus on protein in their diet, they can lose more muscle mass than is ideal. And so if you imagine a woman, you know, going through multiple weight loss journeys in her 30s, 40s, and maybe even 50s, the combination of, again, the risk factors associated with aging, menopausal hormone changes, and then loss of skeletal muscle mass through weight loss without sufficient protein intake and resistance training, you can end up having a much slower metabolism when you're beginning a weight loss journey in your late 50s and 60s. These women I love working with because what we can do at Ohio State is measure your metabolism directly. We have a device that allows us to get a precise measurement of your resting energy expenditure, which is your body's metabolism when you are just as you are first thing in the morning. This helps me figure out if the first step in your health journey really needs to be metabolism restoration or if your body's ready to, you know, if it has a normal metabolism or even a fast metabolism to start a weight loss journey. A lot of times if patients aren't able to access this information or don't have it, again, they're going to really increase their risk of further metabolic damage, which again, thinking ahead 10, 20 years down the road, that makes weight maintenance a little bit more difficult.